Hello there, this is Cardell, and I just wanted to do an update video because I haven't put one up for a little bit. Uh, I have just finished, uh, as of yesterday, completing the Windows-based server uh, instead of the console-based server. I was getting kind of annoyed that uh, console, I mean, it's always there. It's always sitting down in the task tray and all that kind of stuff. So I wrote the Windows one, so and I just copied all the, the appropriate code over and added a couple of the features that are, you know, inherently awesome in Windows-based management of your server applications, like the configuration. And I put that all in here, uh, and I'll just show you exactly how this thing is working right now. Uh, so we have our little icon, which I'm going to update this to the actual app icon eventually. And when you double click it, it hides it, it goes away from the taskbar at the bottom, double click it again, it comes back. You can send it to tray this way, you know, same same thing, right? So <clears throat> now the configuration, uh, you can set your port if you leave it blank, it's uh, defaulted uh, to 57934 just like normal, uh, which is in the help file, which I am working on. The uh, listing here you can add and remove lists here with just a simple dialog box and uh, do all that kind of cool stuff and then when you save it it saves the configuration and when you rebuild it will scan all of your files and it yeah has the database version here at the end so that it's updated and that's it everything works the same uh, the Android app is almost done as far as base functionality in the Android Studio version I do have the Xamarin Studio one working, however, it takes way too long because it's written in C sharp. It's got way too much overhead when dealing with some of the stuff that uh, it it takes like 30 to 40 seconds to load a list. So um, and it's not even downloading the list; it's processing it. So I don't I don't really like it because um, once I started doing it in Android Studio, it's like five to ten seconds and it's done 27,000 tracks. So it's a uh, way better uh, I'm sure there's lots of places that I can improve it but it's good enough for now and uh, yeah so the next step I'm gonna start streaming here in a little bit and we're gonna work on the filtering and trying to see if we can get the media player to actually work with a, a screen that has like the artwork possibly you know that kind of stuff with your controls volume and all that kind of information so uh, yeah I just want to put a little update because it has been quite a while since I posted an update on this software so I hope that helps. If you have any questions about the software so far, um, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer it. Talk to you later.